Namaste to everyone. So we'll be switching to the next sharing today. That is by uh, Baljit Barmaji. Baljit Bhaiya, Namaste. Namaskar, sir. Okay. Baljit Bhaiya uh, is working as associate professor in the Department of Applied Science, Amritsar Group of Colleges, Amritsar. Uh, he was in the banking sector for 12 years. Then uh, now he is in uh, his teaching profession for 24 years and basically teaching communication skills. He has attended an introductory workshop and planning to attend USB2 workshop in near future and uh, also attending this morning session from this batch owners. So with this brief introduction, I may invite Baljit Bhaiya to keep the sharing in 20 minutes based on the pointers. So yes, sir. I will be uh, keeping into to. consideration the limitation of time. Thank you very much, sir. Good morning to all the mentors and respected participants. I am Associate Professor Baljeet Verma from NBA NAC Accredited Institute Amritsar Group of Colleges, Punjab. I have spent 12 years with Standard Chartered Bank Amritsar and around 24 years in teaching profession, teaching communication skills and personality development. My wife is Chief Pharmacy Officer with Punjab government. My daughter and my son both are doctors. I have already attended two UHB workshops, first workshop in April 2021 in online mode, the second one in January 2024 face to face with Jatinder Narulaji. I joined the morning session of 10th batch after receiving intimation and motivation from Deepak Ji of Jharkhand. Since 1st May 2024, I am attending morning sessions regularly for self-exploration and development. Motivation for today's sharing came from Anil Singh Rathorji of Lucknow. Now I put before you my personal generalized understanding, which came from UHV morning sessions of 10th batch in both Hindi and English versions. Exercise one, observing the self by the self every moment. Uh, first thing is I am very much aware that happiness is my innate nature, that is natural character, not the effect from outside sources. Momentarily, physical facility may attract us, but this is not the reality. Happiness is the internal bliss. Second thing is that I want to be happy. It's also true that I want to be happy in continuity and permanently. I am able to see that I want to be in harmony in myself with the other people in the society and with the nature as well. Before attending morning sessions, I never thought about the concepts of self and body, imagination, physical facility, harmony, happiness, relationships, and their importance in personal and professional and social life. But now things have started changing. Most of the time, these things do come to my mind and I do make realization about them. UHV team is uh, very well versed in the explanation of these concepts clearly in simple language, easily understandable to all of us, even those people like me who are uh, joining this uh, batch for the very first time. I developed my interest. I started raising my queries, got the replies, sometimes to my satisfaction and sometimes I did not get convinced, but left these things to time factor that with more and more understanding of UHV content, I may be able to see the things with more clarity in the coming days. Questions raised by the other participants and the answers to their questions also added more and more information to my existing stock. After self-exploration, I am clearly able to understand desire or feeling, thought and expectation. I could understand with my journey in morning sessions that I am happy and in harmony with the feeling at a particular moment only if I have the right understanding. But it is always not the case. Sometimes there is a mood swing. I am not in harmony because of my desire or my feeling or preconditioning or assumptions. But later on, when I sit back, rewind the things, then I come to know 
that the basis of such disharmonious feelings lies in our own thinking prepositions, wrong assumptions, and biased attitude towards the other people. We want to listen from others only what we like or what pleases us, nothing else. This is the biggest blunder at our part. Because of this reason, our relations at home or outside are in troubled waters. Since I myself is the seer, doer, and the enjoyer, this responsibility also befalls on me. I am responsible for the feelings or thoughts that take place in me. Nobody else is responsible. Reaction at our part is very important factor. This is a very important psychological aspect of our life to shape up and express our state of mind. When I am able to decide the things on the basis of right understanding, I am in harmony. When I am in state of relation rather than opposition, I am in joy and harmony. When my response is based on right thinking, when I am able to see that the person opposite to me is also human, when I try to put myself into others' shoes, then I am able to see so many things clearly and it also puts an end to my aggression. My aggression starts <clears throat> melting. Harmony and peace starts emerging. If I talk about myself, my nature, I am an aggressive, reactive person who most of the time remained in trouble because of this reason. But slowly, I have developed self-control. Certain amount of positive changes are there in me, although the speed of this change is very slow. I admit that this state of mind is better than my earlier state of mind, honestly speaking. If I had not gained anything out of this session, I would not have continued it for more than three months' time till date. And I would not have come forward with this sharing with all of you. You see, nobody is seeing me attending all this. No one is forcing me to listen to morning sessions. I am not receiving any orders from anybody to record observations into my journal. I am part of this session because of my own sweet will and not under any obligation. All this is based on my self-decision, my willingness to do it. This is perhaps the winning part of UHV morning sessions in English and Hindi. This thing confirms that I am the doer. I am responsible for the consequences also. Now, whenever I feel discord in my relations, I try to introspect myself immediately. Whenever I am right or not this this try I try to explore. Earlier this idea never came to my mind. Reconciliation part was not at all there in my life before this. Every time I used to feel that I am right I'm at, at my place. And all the misdeeds are being done by others. What a paradoxical situation it is. There is a natural self-correcting process in human life. But the tragedy is that the things happen so fast in our day-to-day -day personal and professional life that in a fraction of a second, things change from harmony to disarm, from relation to opposition, from response from positive to aggression. Who is responsible for all this? Yes, of course. I am in the center of all these affairs of my life. Nobody else is. Nobody can be blamed for it. I am able to see that I am to be in coexistence with other human beings, with the nature as well. All this is the paraphernalia for meaningful, harmonious life. I have written around 174 pages in my journal, day and date-wise, about the assignments, exercises of 10th batch, along with my own observations of morning session till date. Exercise to observing the self, body, and interaction between them in space by the self. I believe and understand that there are two independent units, that is I, the self, and the body. They function independently, but definitely there is coexistence between them. Self or I am the source which gives instructions to the body, and body in coexistence responds accordingly. For example, some thorn is 
pricked in my foot body will generate sensation which through the nervous system is perceived by the brain brain decodes the meaning in the form of perception then self or i am able to feel this piercing pain and understand as to what actually has happened to me on the other hand let us suppose i want to pick up a glass of water from the table i instruct my body to do so in reaction to my command or instruction my hand acts picks up the glass of water as per my desired instructions but here i have one point of doubt we are explained that we read the sensation of body by our choice if we like to read we read if we want to ignore we can i am stuck up at this point in the example given by me how the self can ignore this piercing pain of the thorn i fail to understand this question was raised by me in one of the sessions also i am still to work and understand it so i read the sensation by the self decision is not always true because sometimes the sensations are so powerful that we cannot exercise our will or control but this is only my point of view it is not my decision i am not criticizing anything and i may be wrong in my version also but time will also uh, correct me i am also able to uh, read that my reactions to outer actions sensations are based on my sanskar for right kind of response at my part right kind of sanskar is equally important when my sanskar is based on right understanding i continue to be in state of happiness and a relationship both the body and the self are in coexistence in space i transmit instructions to the body through space body receives the instructions through space and vice versa for the transaction between the self and the body space is a channel of communication between both these independent units but they work in coordination with each other thereby the generation of all these states of mind whether it is harmony or relationship disharmony or opposition choice is all ours in totality but exceptions can never be ignored in life finally uhv is a way of life it is not any theoretical proposition it is more a matter of realization and practice it is a way to better meaningful living it can transform everything from micro level to macro level not only a single person not only a single nation not only a single country but the whole world needs to be connected to universal human values my commitment is that i may continue in the upcoming morning sessions also i would like to attend uhv to face to face workshop as far as volunteering part is concerned i have not given much thought to it yet honestly presently i am devoting almost 2 hours in the morning session listening to english and hindi versions as far as it is possible for me sometimes it is difficult to manage more time due to personal and family engagements but whenever i have time i try to read or listen to uhv content i also read the journal written by me i said in 174 pages it is also helpful to me i intend to read at least one or two good books on the subject to enhance my understanding so this is all from my side thank you very much for listening patiently regards to everybody in the room thank you very much so you can go to uh, and gopal bhai and for comments on baljit bhai and sikni ji gopal bhai namaste baljit bhai namaskar sir so i am happy that you are uh, able to see importance of this process in your life and day by day you are getting convinced that this is one of the processes that can lead a fulfilling life in continuity and you have test all the my steps with significant sharing 
whenever it is required, whenever it is appropriate. So the important point is that I am getting convinced about the process, about my objective of life. So this is one of the important things. So when I have decided that I have to move in this path, I have to go ahead in this path, then definitely we will start working on ourselves. So as you have shared that you have recently joined this uh, morning session and definitely I am sure that you will continue it also in coming batches. And uh, what is required is to uh, be aware, to be aware of our consciousness, to uh, be aware of my sanskar, to be aware of my thoughts. This frequency of awareness should be increased day by day. If it is increasing, definitely we will move towards a fulfilling life in continuity. And secondary Thank you very participation, much. yes, and secondary participation in this ESV team. So whenever I participate, I get enough opportunity to work in team, to interact with other team members, and we be in touch of continuous environment whenever we participate in this ESV activities. So nice, Bhaiya. I hope you will continue. And you will be participating in this USB activities. Yeah. Ji, Ji, Gopal, sir, definitely. And uh, uh, I remember that there is not even a single day when I have missed these sessions in the 10th batch. So uh, your words of uh, encouragement, they will also be helpful to me in the coming times also. So I have planning to go deep into understanding of these concepts related to UHV, not for the purpose of understanding, but for the purpose of practically implementing them into the uh, life platform. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So if we can get comments from Ms. Anya Devi. Ji, Namaste Baljeet Ji. Namaskar Ji, Madam. No, they were very nice to hear your sharing today. I heard you briefly in between during the sessions when there were questions or comments. And uh, as you mentioned, it is very clear about your commitment to attending the sessions. And I think you are exploring within yourself and able to see some of the steps. So it is uh, very nice, very commendable that uh, you are doing, you know, taking this process seriously, writing it down. As you rightly said, we are all here without any coercion, without any force, because there is some fulfillment, some sense of purpose in what we are doing. And I think that is the beauty of the process. The content is a rich content and trying to see it within us, this capacity that we all have, trying to exercise it, that gives relief from a lot of the day-to-day -day struggles that we may be going through. And to find yourself in a peaceful state, that is definitely um, you know, a, a sort of motivational uh, thing for us to do. You also mentioned that you are an aggressive person uh, or have been uh, so far, although that seems a little hard to visualize seeing your participation or, you know, your sharing, but I'm sure that you will be able to overcome much of it uh, and we will look forward to your continued participation in the sessions and also eventually your participation in the team in terms of working for the larger order. So all the very best to you for your future journey also, future observations and participation. All the best. Thank you very much for the kind words and uh, encouragement to me. And I will try my best that I remain in touch and intact with the process. Thank you very much. Thank you. And we can always, 
you know, when we continue the journey, your questions and all of that, we can, you know, discuss those also. All the best. Yes, yes please. Yes, please. Thank you.